Hi, I'm Rowan. I'm a personal stylist and fashion writer and today I'm going to show you how to spot fake designer sunglasses by pointing out just a few of the design flaws that many of them have. Starting off with this Gucci pair, you can see that this has got the what's meant to be the Gucci logo on the side, but in actual fact, instead of G's, it's C's. So there's an element of confusion there between whether it's Gucci or Chanel, meaning it's really just neither. Again, they just don't feel great. The hinge is a little bit stiff on, and you just feel that they're, they're kind of plasticky and you can see the, the gaps between the lenses and the frames. They're really just not the real deal. So again with this Armani pair, with designer sunglasses the logo really is everything otherwise why would you buy them? And you can see on this pair that the Armani logo isn't just quite right, it's not actually accurate to what the logo would be. Again they're a bit flimsy, the, the legs feel they could fall off at any point and you really don't get the feeling that this, these lenses would give you any kind of protection from the sun. So definitely not the real deal. So here's another pair, meant to be Chanel sunglasses. Again, lots of flaws on these ones. This here would actually, on a real pair of Chanel's, be embossed, it would be a proper piece of metal that would be stuck onto the legs and it would give some weight to the frames. Actually, you can see on this pair, it's just a transfer which is already starting to peel off and after one wearing, it would probably come completely off, losing the entire Chanel look. And again, they just, they have no sense of feeling that they would really be a Chanel um, piece and the legs just don't feel right. One's a lot looser than the other, suggesting you can try it a number of times. You wouldn't get that with a real Chanel. Tricky to spot with these ones, of course, because they do have the right Chanel logo here on the edge, which feels like it should be uh, genuine. Again, on the inside of the leg, they've got the copyright Chanel, but these things are quite easy to fake. You've got to consider the overall look of the piece. What is it made of? What does it feel like? Moving on then to the Wayfarer Ray-Ban versions that we see here. They, you know, these have a real sense of, from the outside, they look quite convincing, they look good, but actually when you look closer, they've got a few of the Ray-Ban trademarks that are really missing. First of all, they don't have it written on the arms, either inside or outside, so that would be a giveaway. And also, all Ray-Bans have a little white writing up on the top of the lens here, which shows that they are the real thing. So if you see in these real Ray-Bans here, they have that writing, these lack it, which would make you think that they are really quite a bad copy. Now, they don't all feel too bad, so it's worth noting it might not always be possible to spot the fake unless you have the real item there with you to check it against. So a few points to note. First of all, where are you buying them from? If you're buying online, check out the website. Is it reputable? Who is sending you this item? If you're buying them in a stall or in a foreign country in a back street, chances are Chanel, Ray-Ban, Gucci are not going to be stocking that stall. And so what you're buying is not the real deal. And overall, price. If it seems like an amazing deal and what would otherwise be an expensive item, the chances are it's too good to be true and what you're buying is not the real thing. So that's just a few tips on how to spot fake designer sunglasses.